Dave Jagashi from VentureBeat. I'm here at CES in the Razor booth and here with uh, Min, uh, the CEO of the company. And uh, tell us about what you guys introduce here with this uh, Forge TV. Sure, so this is Forge TV. Essentially, it's um, an Android TV box, so it's a micro console that we announced with Google at Google I.O. And this is the first time we're showing it off. So in essence, it's got everything that uh, Android TV has, all the movies, the music, and of course, what Razer brings to the table is our gaming expertise. And what we've done is we've packed the um, Forge TV, which is our name for the uh, Android micro console, with one of the most powerful CPUs. It's a quad core CPU with a gaming grade GPU. And we've also brought our expertise in terms of game controllers. So this is the Razer Servo. It's a Bluetooth controller that is designed specifically for precision gaming. So we've also got all kinds of um, games that are running on the Android TV box. And uh, essentially we're trying to bring Android gaming to the next level with the Razer Forge TV. However, that's not just it. One of the big announcements that we're making at the show is something that we've been working on in stealth for a long time, and that's to address the problem of PC gaming in the living room. So in short, what we're doing is um, solving the big problem. How do you bring PC gaming to the living room? And there are three big problems at this point of time. Mm -hmm. The first of which is basically, you know, um, we think most gamers won't bring the content of their PC uh, to the to the uh, big screen TV, mm -hmm. but they're they're not inclined to buy another uh, PC, or they're not inclined to buy dedicated hardware just to to play around the the, the, the home. Mm -hmm. With Razer Cortex, we're rolling out a beta in the first half of 2015 mm -hmm. to stream all your PC games from your existing PC right across to the Forge TV. So that's the first thing that we're doing. It's lag free, it's insane, it's incredible. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that we've worked uh, a long time on the UI. How do you bring the mouse and keyboard experience to the living room? Now, of course, for gamepad games, they can try the server, so which is great. On top of that, we've also got the Razer Turret lab board. It's a magnetic uh, mouse and keyboard lab board set that they can play at the living room. You just lean back and play mouse and keyboard games right from the get-go. So that's the second thing that we've done. The third thing is price, right? Um, well, that's one of the concerns many people have. Do I have to buy $500 or, or $1,000 to just play PC games in my living room? Absolutely not. So the Forge TV by itself is a phenomenal Android TV box at just $99. And on top of that right now, you're going to be able to get PC gaming in your living room with the Android TV box, with the Forge TV. So that's what we have here today. So you've also taken this very open approach here with this, uh, and you've also taken that approach with virtual reality as well. Absolutely. So we also announced that show, the second big announcement that we have, uh, that we had is OSVR, which is open source virtual reality. Now in a single line, that's um, like the Android of VR, and that's what we've done. It's both a software and a hardware component. So the software for OSVR is licensed under Apache 2.0, so it's completely open, like Android. And the hardware, what we've done is we've taken all the designs and schematics and stuff like that, and we've uploaded it online. So anyone who's got a, access to the materials or with a, with, a, with a 3D printer can make their own kits at home. So on top of that, at the show, we are, we are kind of kicking things off with the uh, uh, hacker development kit, the OSVR hacker development kit. We are making it available to everyone. Uh, you can try it at the booth. Um, otherwise, uh, you can purchase it for just $199. And um, you can plug in things. It's got open ports. It's got an FPGA that you can do programming on. And uh, that's going to be shipping by June 2015. Oh, very good. Thank you very much, man. Thank you.